Okay. Yeah, we're, we're back. Uh, we're going to discuss in no the top five N64 games. His top five, my top five, and why we like it. Yeah, and the reason why we're doing this is well, I just just realized, because. Well, actually, no. There's a specific reason why I'm doing it. Want to do this? It's because I got the N64, Nintendo 64, for some people, whatever, uh, back in like '97, '98, around Christmas, and I got the Aqua Blue, whatever one. So that was, and it, so it has a special place in my heart as well as the as well as the Sega Genesis. So well, N sixty four was awesome back in the day. N sixty four really was, was pretty good. It really was. It, it did it did a lot for gaming, and all I have to say is the Fish AI in Mario sixty four were more advanced than Call of Duty Ghost Fish Eye. So check wait, check me Activision. Yeah. And also screw you, Carlos Mencia, for saying the N sixty four is is shit. It's not okay. Well, you can't watch us. All right. So, what's your list from starting from number five? A little reason why, and yeah. Well, first of all, number five would be WWE No Mercy, and every wrestling fan no out there knows this game F. is the most awesome. WWF. Whatever. Yeah. The WWF. Every wrestling fan out there knows that this game is the most badass game ever made, except for one little thing, and you guys all know why. You're all playing your games. You save all your shit. You play the entire game, you have the best character out there, and then the glitch happens. Well, you know what that glitch is. This fucking deletes all your shit. It's funny that, it's funny that you say that, uh, humanoid. I got, uh, I had WWF Attitude, and it was the same way. And it required one of those, uh, you know, memory packs? Yeah. Not the expansion pack, but I had a purple memory pack I picked up from Blockbuster, and it helped save in blocks. Now, this was a bitch because I made all these custom characters with voices and everything. Right. You know exactly how it is. And you're just yeah. like, oh shit. Now we sound like game commentators. So now back to you, Bob, you know. Yeah. So that, I, yeah. So that, that's why you, that would be. Well, N64 No Mercy will be on number five. The reason it's on way in the bottom list is because of the glitch. Otherwise, without the glitch, this game would have been perfect. Because think of it this way this was the only game back then. Where like the weight was awesome, where you get to wrestle some big ass fat son of a bitch and you're a skinny dude and you couldn't lift him off the ground. Raw versus SmackDown did not do that. You're a skinny little fucker and you pick up this giant fat guy. What the fuck is that? N64 was before ahead of its time. And if it wasn't for the glitch, it would have been number one. But that's my say on that. All right. My number five is going to be, uh, this is tough, Mario Kart 64. And the reason why Mario Kart 64 is I spent countless hours with friends in that I would do tournaments and such. Uh, I honestly, if I was considering doing it when I was doing, considering doing this list, I considered having, you know, one game, like having two games in one uh, spot. But Mario Kart 64 is definitely my number five. My number five contender uh, would also be Mickey Speedway USA because they're both in the same style. You know, they're both, uh, you yeah, know, that, that would definitely be it. And the reason why is just hours upon hours upon hours of, of gameplay and spending so much time in that freaking, and just in that game. So I, I definitely could see, well, yeah, that's why it's number five. Number four for you. Number four for me would be WrestleMania 2000. Oh, oh, oh there's two wrestling games on there. But there's a diff, it's a good one though, WrestleMania 2000. It was awesome, because you can fuck up every character on there for some reason. There are Visser in there. I changed his entire character, called him Big Vis, made him look like a porno star. Any character on there, you can just change their look. I made Jim Ross. Jim Ross, the commentator. I made him a wrestler. I made him look like Tarzan. <laughs> Except you can't make him skinny. He was still fat. But that's what I liked about WrestleMania 2000. You can change anybody's character. You can make a pussy-ass wrestler into an awesome wrestler. And then you can create your own shit. Hmm. That's it for now. That's like what I like about number four. My number four is not a wrestling game, although I did have good times with them. My number four is going to be, and you hate me for it, Banjo Kazooie. The reason why Banjo Kazooie is not any higher is because I did spend a shit ton of time on that game. But as you're going to see with this list, I do like rare, rare games. So. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie. I unlocked pretty much all the secrets. I discovered things. I remember looking in guides for when the internet was still primitive, for freaking the ice key and how to get unlock it and all that stuff. And then they had that in Banjo Kazooie, and they, Banjo Kazooie was to me like the perfect Mario. It personally, it worked so well, and I just enjoyed the hell out of it. And the fact, and then Banjo Kazooie just comes in and just knocks it right out of the park. 
but Banjo Kazooie will always have a place in my heart, just based on the story and based on what Rare did with no with no voices, just sounds, sounds and dialogue, and it was just it was phenomenal. And all the stages, how the, the ma major grasp, but yeah, that's why it's my number four. Number three, number three for me would be Mario Kart 64. Mm. What you said, nothing else to be said, except well, it's a number three in my list. Well. I, I could definitely see why it would be number three. Number three for me, and this one was tough, but it's going to be Goldeneye. Again, hate Most me. Most awesome game ever. Oh yeah, Goldeneye slash Perfect Dark. And the reason why I do that, like I said, with how I did with Banjo Tooie and Banjo Kazooie, is the fact Goldeneye and Perfect Dark kind of went hand in hand. Goldeneye was released first. It wasn't supposed to be as amazing as it was. And don't get me wrong, the single player was great. And it's fun to speed run it, but the multiplayer is again countless hours in that yeah it was it was just so damn good i i, I don't know what else to say on golden knight honestly it, natalia natalia the reason why it's not number one for me is because natalia is a stupid bitch yeah i she hated, i hated guiding her around natalia. but it was fun just crushing the bones of pedestrians with the tank hell yeah that, love that and blowing up shit with the tank then they released the one, the new one, Reloaded, whatever, with, uh, with Daniel face, Craig. Daniel Craig. Well, it wasn't bad, but it felt very much like a just Call of Duty. just Daniel Craig's head onto that. No, no, but it felt like very much like a Call of Duty clone. The single player was pretty cool. It added some new features and stuff that was in the original movie, but it really didn't have the same feel. And the multiplayer was an absolute fluke with uh, the first Golden Ice. So, yeah, that's why it's, that's my number three. Number two? Number two for me would be your number three. Number two would be in that uh, Golden Eye 64. Like I said, most awesome game ever. It's ahead of its time. Still stands to this day. It sort of has shitty graphics, but it still stands to this day. Because you can play countless hours on that thing. The thing I love the most is just going around killing scientists left and right. And just fucking up the missions. That one was... The first time I got that game, I just went, fuck it. I'm just killing everybody up in this yeah. bitch. And that's that's what I really liked about Goldeneye, and more a little bit about that. And what I really liked about it is the fact you had all that freedom to it. The levels yeah. were non-linear. I mean, trying to kill off Omar or off whatever his name was, and then killing fucker Odd Job and killing oh, fucking, fucking Odd Job was the and Jaws. God. Jaws was annoying. But I remember this went way, 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 way back. Wait, Jaws was in that game? Yeah, I must have missed that. He was in the fuck. He was in the Aztec level, the one with the rocket ship. You didn't get that part, did you? I got to that part, but I must have missed that. Yeah, when you're doing the launch coast, he's in one of the parts. Oh. So yeah, number two for me. With that is, it's it's it really is a tie between these two, and number two is a tie between Conquer's Bad Fur Day because that game is almost perfection to me. I am the shit of poop. I am the great my shit mighty poo and I'm going to throw my shit at you. And you to fly to this world. No, you're bad. Uh, yeah. but, and, and also, for multiplayer, Super Smash Bros. The original. Because it has spawned two sequels that have improved phenomenally improved the formula that has made it awesome and even PlayStation you know Sony has done PlayStation Battle of Stars Royale and everything so surprise Microsoft hasn't really done anything with the Xbox Series. but yeah number number two conquers that birthday because I was actually watching Chris Sawyer I believe and the rest a few other members of Rare actually play like do a, a let's play of it their own freaking game failing at it epically and it's taken them a year and a half to do no they've taken so much breaks i'm not even kidding uh, they played it all the way and now they just hearing about all this stuff it was just, it was just so fun and, and super smash bros i have played that game while doing illegal things well not illegal things but you know drinking and partying things. and getting high and I've, I've had countless memories even when i was a kid though playing that at, at not so much land, well i guess the equivalency of land parties and like uh a new for new year's and stuff so yeah those two games conquer's bad birthday i it was ahead of its time and i feel that game deserves number two and the reason for that is just because the and then the multiplayer and it's a rare game we got three rare games in a row that's that honestly yeah not that it just has a place in my heart number one for you of course number one you all know what number one is he's like the biggest superstar out there on n64 seriously how can you not go wrong with mario 64 come on man it's fucking mario it's like going around trying to save the fucking princess again but this time in sort of a 3d-ish kind of way the fucking piano scared the shit out of me when i was a kid <laughs> 
Underwater level? God damn that eel, whatever the fuck, which just scared the crap out of me. Exactly. So that, that would be your number one? But yeah, there's so much fun to do in Mario 64. So many different levels. Yeah. And yeah, basically that's it. There's nothing much you can say. It's just Mario. Well, I agree that it is an amazing game. It's one of the first N64 games. Not the first, but one of the first. The first one I actually ever played was Arrow Gage. And then WCW versus NWO. Which was oh, I played that. that Ninja. Was awesome. I know. I forgot that game. Holy so it's so, okay, okay. So that, uh, that while I played countless hours out that on friends at the farm with different friends when they didn't have internet, you know, it was in this primitive age. My number one obviously is going to be the one that everyone else chooses. Jet Force Gemini. No, I'm kidding. I love Jet Force Gemini. Don't get me wrong, and that's another good rare game, but mm, it's going to have to be Zelda. Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time slash Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. The two just go hand in hand. Majora's Mask is underappreciated, more so, and it's it's overseen or it's you know it's always covered. It's like Luigi. Luigi's awesome. Luigi's Mansion was great. I haven't played the sequel, but Luigi's Mansion is cool and it's cool playing different games. But it's always overshined by Super Mario or by Mario. So, but Ocarina of Time has a special place in my heart, and the fact you can beat that game in 20 minutes or 25 minutes, whatever, is surprising. Really? Yeah. I've never played any Zelda game whatsoever, so I'm surprised about that fact. Wow. No, seriously, I grew up. It's not never meant to Zelda. be. It's not meant to be. I was more of a Mario guy when I grew up. I watched the Legend of Zelda show when the Super Mario Brothers show was on. <laughs> was like, what's his name? Was it Ron Jeremy? Oh God! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut or the fuck was up. it Captain Lou Albano? <gasps> I don't remember. No, it was Captain Lou Albano. Who played? I'm thinking I, like Ron Jeremy when he did that no, Super Mario he, porn. Yeah, oh god. And then that terrible Mario movies, Mario Brothers. Hey, movie. that's a guilty pleasure. That was just. Bob bad. Hoskins, I see that was it. It was so and bad. His arms. How can you go wrong with a oh, British man whatever. and a <sighs> Spanish guy playing two Italian plumbers? Honorable mention. So that's that's so a quick recap. Your number five. It, uh, no mercy. My number five. Shit. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, monkey. I don't Yeah, Mario reference. Yeah. Movie. Oh, shit. Dennis Hopper. You, you can know. watch this video again because honestly, I, I've said so much. No, number five was Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart 64. Number four. WrestleMania 2000. Number four for me, Banjo Kazooie. Number three. Mario Kart 64. Number three for me, ba or GoldenEye 64 slash Perfect Dark. GoldenEye number two. Number two for me. Like I said, Super Smash Bros. slash Conker's Bad Fur Day. Number one? Mario 64. Me, Conker's, er, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time slash Majora's Mask. And even Link's Awakening. Really Honorable cool. mention, I have to say, WCW vs. NWO, oh, because that game was on. awesome. Do I rented that at Blockbuster. You guys remember Blockbuster? Yeah. Or, we just, or am I just old? I remember Blockbuster, actually. Uh, that's, I got some good memories about that, and I'll be super quick with this one. Honorable mention as well, R Rainbow Six, the original, Freaking uh, Jet Force Gemini, Army Men Sarge's Heroes, one and two. That game was just weird but awesome in a strange way. Yeah, I made Blockbuster had some good games to rent out. Torok, Torok, one, two, and three. Although number three was eh. Number two was great. Number one was. Mm. Then even Rage Wars. Rage Wars was cool. Uh, Donkey oh. Kong 64 because I played the crap out of that one, but I never actually beat it. I played it with friends. And I had good memories with that, but I never actually beat it. Although I have to one say one reason why Majora's Mask actually probably be better than Ocarina of Time to me. That fucking water, or the fu not water temple, the forest temple with those fucking ghosts. With no, the ghosts. Yeah, I'm serious. Right. You're trying to get like all four of the, the sisters, and you're just like to have that fucking last one, the green one, or was it the red? Oh, I don't know. Fuck. I hate the forest temple. Water temple. I pretty much beaten seconds. I only saw that on YouTube, and that yeah, was, it, was, it, was, it was a bitch. Fuck. That whole game just. It was countless mindfuckery at its finest, but it was a great action RPG. It wasn't fable action RPG, but it was just fun to play. So yeah, my final honorable mention, Space Jam, or no, not Space Jam, but that was a good movie, but uh, Space Channel 5, no, no, uh, South Park. South, South Park, Park all the this, game? they had, did three games. They did Chess Love Shack, South Park, which was an FPS, or first person shooter, and uh, South Park Rally. I did not know South Park did some games. Yeah, they did three of them. There was one on the Dreamcast, and I actually have my thoughts on that. So that's that. That would be, our, I guess, our countdown. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, going top ten would be even harder. 
Because <laughs> yeah, I would cost so these we're questions. That's a different thing for a different day. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, subscribe to this motherfucker and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, take it easy, humanoids. And freaking McDubbin out. Peace the fuck out.